Good morning. I am making yummy pacifier soup. Just kidding. I'm sterilizing a new pacifier for Scout. I bought this box of eco pacifiers and it came with three of them. It was a three pack and they say to only use these for about six to eight weeks and it's been exactly eight weeks since she's been using this one. So I decided it was time for a new one. Hi puppy. How are you today? How are you today? Look at this baby girl. Look at those arms free. You guys, Scout has never, okay, I'm not gonna say never. The first maybe two weeks of her life, she was okay with being swaddled, but after that, no way Jose, no matter how tight I swaddle her, no matter if I use the Velcro little blanket things, she gets her arms free. Her arms were tucked in there. This girl needs to wake up. I need to feed her really quick and then I'm gonna eat something and then we are gonna head over to Baby's R Us. It's kind of far away so I have to time it really good. I have to literally like feed her, burp her, put her in the car seat, go, because I will barely make it back in time before I'll need to feed her again. Are you gonna wake up, baby girl? You look so sweet. You guys wanna see her cute outfit today? Can I show them your cute outfit? <laughs> She's got her wild at heart onesie on that I made and her jean shorts. It's so cute. You're just a sleepy head. We gotta get going, big girl. <laughs> we gotta get going. The day's gonna be over before we get it started. We made it to Baby's R Us. You guys, I caught a little leopard. <laughs> Those look cute on you. <laughs> what do you think about those? We're shopping. We're trying to figure out. I haven't made it over to the Halloween costumes yet. I'm distracted by all the cute clothes. Huh, are we shopping? Well, she could be Ariel. Yeah. I'm really disappointed with their selection here for Halloween costumes. They really don't have anything. I don't know what we're gonna do. Huh. But I'm getting some cute little outfits. Check out this headband, Kardashian headband. <laughs> this onesie, sweaters. I think I might try this. It is the sleep sack with the swaddle option. And she hates to be swaddled normally, but I don't know. I think she would maybe do okay with this one. So I think we're gonna try it. I'm kind of excited about it. So we'll see how it goes. Worst comes to worst, I guess I just return it, but I'm gonna give it a try. All right, well that was successful for cute clothes. <laughs> Um, I just realized there's a pet co literally like a few feet away. So I'm gonna run in and get Olive a little something because she's just seemed a little bit down lately. And I know she doesn't get as much attention as she used to, so I'm gonna go get her something special to make her happy. Speaking of Halloween costumes, <laughs> we've never dressed Olive up. They usually don't make things big enough for her. She's usually too like fat and weirdly shaped. So I don't think any of these would work, but maybe we could just throw a tutu on her. Scout, I think you dropped your pacifier. <laughs> She's fallen asleep. Okay, so I think we're gonna go with this bone. I love these bones because they're real bone. I don't have to worry about like rawhide or anything like that. And these last forever. So I am gonna go with this chicken flavor today. It looks disgusting. <laughs> It looks so gross. We normally get the beef flavor, but they don't have it. So I'm gonna go with chicken. Hopefully she'll like it. It seems so gross. She did it again. She was perfect. Huh. No crying and that was a pretty long trip. 
It is exactly time for her to eat right now. So she did so good. I love you, baby. I didn't even have to say anything. Olive knows I got her something. So check this out. I got her more treats from the treat bar. <gasps> Are you excited about those? Yeah? And look, Anna got you a new bone. Is that exciting? Here, let me open it. Like I said, Olive has never had this chicken flavor, so we're gonna see if she likes it. Ah! Here's her old bone. This one, you guys, it's so gross, but she has had this since Christmas. Okay, that is like a long time. Olive, we still love you even though we have a baby. Huh. We still love you. This girl is saying, feed me please. Will you hurry up? Will you hurry up? You were good for long enough, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I'll hurry. I'll hurry. Look who's home. <gasps> Josh surprised me. You got off a full hour early? Actually a little bit more, right? No. But you got home right at five. I know, but I started Oh, early you're early. right, you did start early today. Anyways, I was super it was excited. so slow today. I would say it stopped. <laughs> it wasn't even slow, it just stopped. You wanna know what I did today? I printed out coloring sheets for toddlers tomorrow. Colored them made a paper chain of when I'm leaving. You did? You did that? <laughs> <laughs> that was my suggestion. Let me show you. <laughs> the countdown begins. Brandon, take a picture. How sad. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's the paper chain. Days till Josh leaves. AKA worst day ever. It'll be the worst day ever when you leave. Yeah. Mm -hmm, that's so. funny. And then just did a lot of standing. And you want to know what Josh texted me today? He said, we're eating out tonight. I need it. <laughs> so I think we're going to go get so Thai food. Yeah, we have been good. I have literally brought my lunch to work for like three, three weeks, weeks in a row. Straight. Olive is still working on this bone over here. And look who I got over here. Are you in your little sleep sack? What do you think about it? So right now she is swaddled with her arms free. And I think I'm really gonna like this because her legs can be free, she can kick around, and she'll fall asleep like this. And then once she falls asleep, then I will swaddle her arms inside. Huh. And we'll just see if it works. Huh. Oh, bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Wow! Bless you! That was four sneezes! <laughs> we were trying on some of her cute little things that she got. So I got her this little gold sweater. Everything I got was on sale. So this will be cute. I got her this coral sweater. And then this cute Kardashian headband. And then we got some of these onesies. Black, white, and gold. And then there's like a white and gold one. They're really cute. You're just styling and profiling. We are here at Bangkok Chef and we are eating some Thai food. It looks very delish. Josh's pad thai came out before my fried rice. What the heck? Scout is just sleeping away, being good. Well guys, tomorrow's my day off. I'm so excited, but I kind of have to go back into work in the morning. I will be very excited once that is over, and I will be free. Kaylee mentioned last night that I should make a paper chain like you do when you're a little kid. It's for like Christmas or your birthday or whatever. And I made a paper chain for how many days left I have of work. Um, so now we have a paper chain hanging up in our in our back room. So how every day. So I have 19 more days with that's including like weekends. That's 
so crazy. I know, it's really crazy. Look what we're eating. Guess that fruit. My favorite fruit of all time. For real, this, I've decided. Mm -hmm. Guess what's happening tomorrow? We have a moving company coming to come and look at all of our stuff and tell us how much it's gonna cost to ship it. <laughs> Which is weird. No, it's really weird. I remember when this happened, when we were about to move here. I'll try to make it quick, but basically, in our complex, there's several buildings. Josh's mom and brother and sister lived in one building. We live in another building. Their two-bedroom condo just sold. They have some furniture that they're shipping back to California, so we're going to, like, group ship it. Yeah. So, we're shipping our furniture and her furniture together. Yeah. Which means she has to get her furniture out of there quick because it's sold. So, our stuff will probably ship, did you say September 10th? Yeah. <laughs> so, the 10th of September, all of our stuff is going away. Yeah. Which means we will be living in this condo with furniture that is in storage that we need to bring back in here. Right. But we'll be living without our stuff. So, we only have like a week to figure out what we need here and what we can send over. And it's kind of stressful having like a dog and a baby because it's like... I guess, I mean, she's not sleeping in her crib yet, so that's fine. Like, they can take the crib, but it's just weird, like, figuring out Stuff like all of what we need to keep. And, like, and, whip. Yeah, it's just, yes. we're going to be living, like, without dishes. I don't know, it's just weird. So, that's the scoop. It's all starting, you guys. It's all starting. Do you want to tell them what's happening for Halloween? Oh yeah, for Halloween, guys, we've already made the plans for like buying the tickets on the 24th, the day after Kaylee's birthday. Um, me, Kaylee, Scout, uh, my mom, I think my brother and my sister are, so far, that's who's going so far, but we're gonna go to Disneyland's trick-or-treat thing where you go at night and it's crazy lit up and they give out candy. So it'll be really cool to take Scout on her first little Halloween adventure. We'll be at Disneyland, which I'm really excited about. I can't even wait. I'm like so excited. It'll be her first time at Disneyland ever. I know, that's so crazy. So we gotta get her a costume. Gotta. Well, I've, we've gotta get to bed because I've got work tomorrow. Good night. Good night, guys. Today is September 1st, and this literally begins our last month in Hawaii which is so weird to say and I have really mixed emotions